This customization displays the gross profit amount and gross profit percentage in both the sales order entry screens and invoice data entry screens. These calculations can be based on the item's standard cost or the last cost, depending on your choice. And in this example, we'll be using the standard cost for our calculations. We'll demonstrate by going into the sales order entry. These customizations will also be visible in invoice data entry. We'll generate a new order number and we'll choose our customer. I'm going to go right over to the lines tab and select an item. I will order just one to keep the math simple and obvious. Let's give this one a unit price of $55. And once I press enter and move to the next row, in essence, saving the line, the gross profit amount is calculated for that line, $20 in this case, and a gross profit percentage of 36.36. .36. We can look at this item's standard cost. The standard cost is $35, confirming that using a price of $55, we do have, in fact, a gross profit amount of $20. We can order maybe four, for example, and the gross profit amount for the line has now changed to $60 and a gross profit percentage of $30, being that the price is $50 instead of $55. And change that, bring that up to $55, and see our new gross profit amount has been reflected. Let's add one more line item. We'll order one again in this case. Saving the line then calculates the gross profit amount and the gross profit percentage. And on the total tab, we'll have a gross profit amount for the entire order and a gross profit percentage as well. 